All right, you're tuned in to the most shadow band man in the land, Lamar Aismo, back with another video in my personal library, the uh, sanctuary away from the gloom and doom of Slavelandia, which is where I have to go later this evening to uh, work for a living. You know, unlike um, <laughs> so many have... Uh, uh, you know, so many others in the in the alt media and um, in the upper echelons of society, uh, they don't ever have to worry about working. But um, <clears throat> let's get right into it with no further delay. And and um, and thanks for the new comments uh, from the new subscribers. And um, I had a subscriber actually say that this I need more subs and. My only, my only answer to that was um, I don't try to be like other YouTubers and tell you to like, share, subscribe, and all that because I think if I do a good enough job, that's going to go without saying. Uh, you're going to like it, and you're going to subscribe, and hell, you might share it, but um, I mean, none of this is really necessary because ultimately, uh, you know, none of the, um, I should say, none of the, the uh, trying to make people promote you uh, it, it, it's not really necessary, I think, uh, because, again, I'm the most shadow banned man in the land, so and on, on any given topic, my video will be way down the list. But um, I do encourage you all to tell a friend who's going to tell a friend to uh, watch my videos. Uh, you know, ultimately, this is... What, what we can do, really, is just... Um, prevent ourselves and the people we care about from, from losing, from being the losers in the end. Because um, Now, I'm not saying we're going to win, but we don't necessarily have to lose either. Because um, what we're trying to do is survive and, if possible, thrive in this new world order being assembled around us by the uh, powers that be. A lot of people like to call them the elites, the Illuminati's. Um, you know, there's so many... Uh, words for what's going on but we know that um you know when you pull back the curtain further or you or you get a little bit more out of plato's cave to use a, a better metaphor and that i especially hate this whole red pill garbage it's it's, it's over oversimplification because all most of these people who've been red pill still fall for the actual scheme and the scam that actually keeps this just these evil people propped up, which is capitalism. But um, yeah, you know, you get further out of Plato's cave, and you see that these uh, euphemisms that are being used aren't totally accurate. There, there, there is something to them, which is what we're going to get into in this video. But uh, the real culprits, as I say, we start at the top of the pyramid. You have those elite families. Some people say 13 families. I boiled it down to just eight. Thanks to um, a great uh, a friend of mine, and he's still doing okay. Um, from what I hear, he's, he's on Richie Allen's show frequently, and I've, I've spoken to him uh, you know, several times in the past uh, via the phone because he lives in the, the Show Me State, Missouri, Dean Henderson. Because of his research and my own, when I combine those two, yeah, it's, it's, it's eight families, but um, for those who want to say 13, that's also fine. Then when you go further down the pyramid, next you have your banks, various banks, investment. Not your mom and pop banks that actually do ser uh, serve uh, a function and then actually, in some cases, are a help to communities because you have people's banks in Iceland. Like the, the, the people, the Nordic people, besides Iran, they're probably the only hope for the world because... When these banksters and, and these um, elite families and their Israeli allies come after them, they don't fold and they don't uh, submit to their yoke. They figure out a way around it. So when the, the 2008 economic crisis hit, the people of Iceland were not brutalized by their government. They actually arrested the bankers who caused the debt problem in the first place. And now they have community banking in, in Iceland. So those people, if there's any hope is them. And then there's also hope in the Southern Hemisphere. The people of uh, Melanesia, because uh, we'll talk about the Solomon Islands in the future, where they have a two-tier economic system. They have their traditional economy, along with the um, Rothschild BIS 
uh, economy that we're all under. So, yeah, you go further down from the pyramid, then you have the uh, Israelis and their various intelligence services because my belief on these intelligence services now is that they all collude. So, for example, the CIA, they're real cozy with um, the you know, MI5 and MI6 in the U.K. Um, there's other alphabet soup agencies here in the United States that we know less about, like the NSA, the Geographical and Spatial forget the, the acronym for that one, but there are a multitude of intelligence agencies here in the United States and around the world that um, are responsible for this evil. And when I mention those bankers, I'm going to go with the uh, the amount of bankers that, that's really, that really run the world. Uh, I've stated this in the past, but it's, it's always worth repeating. Carol Quigley told us that in the late 1700s, 300, the late 1700s, 300 individual bankers controlled the world and the world economy. And that was in the 1780s and the early 19th century. Now, uh, there's a whistleblower who, um, he's kind of, he's a dubious background. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I don't know what to make of the guy, but um, he actually said there were 5,000 bankers now that control. And, and with the amount of population growth, that would make sense. So, you know, just, just keep all that in mind because what I'm going to start doing now on this channel is naming other organizations and groups besides the tribe uh, because we, we always talk about the tribe and, and I will always continue to talk about it. That's how you could tell I'm not a, a shill is because uh, I name and shame the real people behind this, this you know, new world order and the globalist folks. I don't, I don't use... Um, euphemisms and um, you know coded language that's designed to distract and deflect attention from the real culprits like uh, everyone's favorite uh, Alex Jones Mr. Bone Broth you know you got these globalist folks you know the globalists are the you know, and, and, and the main driving factor and the hammer of the globalists and, and I like to call us Rothschild's hammer is uh, the United States there are too many people here that still love free dumb. I'm not talking about freedom. They like free dumb. You know, the, the education system here is designed to make you smart enough to function and be a, a cog in their machine and to be a good uh, tax slave, but it's not designed to make you think and to escape from Plato's cave. That's what education is actually supposed to be for, which is why people always get misguided and, 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 you know, sent in the wrong direction. They get sent to uh, gatekeepers, or what I like to call them is uh, sheepdogs, whether that's the various religions, whether that's um, the mainstream media, or, you know, these so-called truthers, the truther industrial complex, they get they go to the sheepdogs that are they'll take you out uh you know a little bit take you on a little tour and you you might get a good glimpse of what's going on uh, not a good glimpse I should say you'll get a little peek of um, life outside of Plato's cave but they're not gonna take you all the way they're not gonna talk about how because then the sad part is a big reason for them not really giving you the full truth is because they're they're beholden to mythologies of various kinds, whether that be uh, this, this uh, evangelical Christianity, uh, which is, to, it, we'll get into Christianity as I, as I promised this year, but there, there's, there's a, there, there are forms of Christianity that are more people-oriented and more, when individuals take it on and use it to improve themselves, Christianity is not um, a bad thing necessarily. I'm for whatever whatever's gonna make you not a homicidal racist um, individual who uh, likes to kick the uh, working people down or, or kick you know you want to look down on people but you shouldn't look down on anyone unless you're gonna pick them up so if Christianity is gonna help you be that person I'm all for it but when it becomes a gang and you're using it to or you're uh, a, a useful tool for the people who are using it for political ends and to enslave and abuse other people, that's when it becomes problematic. And that's why I plan on doing an expose on it. So, uh, yeah, so you have these sheepdogs and they're out there. 
And, and then there is a truth or industrial complex because they saw the writing on the wall, which is why if you notice uh, the YouTube algorithm downplays, if, if you're someone like me who's a subscriber or who watches a lot of media, you'll notice now that instead of um, when you put in the, the title in the search, the, the people who are on it first, which is usually the, um, the more independent media or the alternative types on, on a given issue, uh, you'll you'll get the mainstream. You'll get ABC News. I'm not not the Australian broadcasting in, in, this, in the United States. You'll get ABC, CBS, Fox. You just throw in a given topic. Whereas in the past, you just get the most popular or most viewed video. These mainstream media YouTube channels are not popular, which is why they're trying to force them onto us. So it's. Uh, it, it, but but we, like we're talking about, they're sheepdogs, and they keep people distracted and going after the wrong targets. And they have a different set of sheepdog for different populations. We have the, we have sheepdogs in the Afro American, and we have distraction. So not all of not all the media is um you know the gatekeepers. You also have distraction, and people love their bread and circus. You know, but um, the truth or industrial complex has done a good job of, of uh, beating down on people who all they want to do is watch sports and that sort of thing. So I'm not going to go down that road. But I wanted to get into a, dis a brief discussion, an intro onto the Bilderberg group, but it looks like I'm approaching my time limit. So I guess I'll just put this, um, I'll, I'll just say this is an intro. But um, what I will say uh, before I end the video so I can make the title relevant because I was going to title this the Bilderberg uh, Group 1 because this is one of those groups that are not uh, totally tribal. They're full of Shabbat Goy, though. Um, and, and, and um, you know, Israel Firsters and people who love freedom, like uh, Mike Pompeo. They're full of people like that. But the Bilderbergs do... It's one of the many tentacles of the, this, or if you're going down the pyramid, then you have your, your think tanks and your um, secret societies, your dark occult secret societies, and these cabals. Like there's, you know, we'll get into Cecil Rhodes with his round tables. Carol Quigley described them. Uh, we're going to get back down to the, the basic uh, roots of, of uh, our source material for this channel. Uh, because I still haven't totally put uh, the flesh on the skeleton of uh, my Carol Quigley talks. Because Quigley, I'm, I'm surprised they let him publish that book, really, uh, Tragedy and Hope, and the Anglo-American Establishment. But he really, I mean, and here's the sad part. I want to end it with this. I was thinking about this today while um, running errands. Some people, you can have all the evidence you want. You can show them. You can show them video footage even. You can show them, hey, look, here's why. I, like One of my cousins who I've, I've totally, I disavow, I disown this guy, and I disassociate from this guy because he used to be sharp until uh, Alex Jones and, and people like that tricked him into being a, 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 a Donald Trump Republican, which is really the Likud party USA. You can show people all the evidence you want and they'll still, still believe in whatever they want to believe. So don't waste time on people like that. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. God willing, I'll see you in the next one.